say hi. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Look at the camera. Good morning. My beautiful girl, you still have your crazy hair. Morning hair. Everybody, good morning welcome to our channel and for today's video she just woke up not too long ago so excuse her hair <laughs> um, for today's video mommy will be showing you what it's like to work from home and to take care of a little angel like this cutie um, she is about to be four months so I'm gonna show you what that looks like I'm sure it gets harder as she gets older but for now, I just want to show you a little bit of like what our day looks like, what our routine looks like. Um, she has been pulling my hair, so my hair is up pretty much every day. And um, as a side note, I like to wake up about an hour before I clock in so that I have time to do everything. I make my coffee, I make the bed, um, I feed her, change her diaper, make myself breakfast, all of that before I get to clock in. Um, so that way I have enough time for myself as well. Look at your little hair. We're gonna take you with us so you can see what that looks like. So I'm gonna make my coffee. I'm gonna uh, set my little angel down for a little bit. And I'm gonna get started with the day. She's being a good sport right now. She's hanging out for a little bit while I make my coffee. So she usually needs to go down for a nap relatively soon. By the time I finish doing like the majority of the things I need to do in the morning, she goes down for a nap. So I'm getting my prenatal also. I'm coming. And my sunflower lecithin pill. Okay, I'm gonna grab it. You wanna be with mom? You wanna come with mom? You make it hard for mom because she only has one hand now. Okay, so as I was saying, I grabbed my prenatal pill and my sunflower lecithin pill also. The reason I started taking these is because I had mastitis already once. It was terrible to say the least because of a clogged duct. So it was a really terrible experience. I had like fever, I had chills. Yeah, so that's why I started taking these. And then of course my prenatal every day because I'm breastfeeding her. Um, so I'm getting that. Let's make the coffee. I swear, everything just happens at once. Miss Keurig is asking okay. for me to add water. I'm holding her. But yeah, this is what mornings look like. I'm just trying to be as transparent and realistic as possible. Okay, so coffee is finally brewing, finally. I like to use this coffee creamer. And right now it is end of October, so still fall vibes. And so I only like to add two tablespoons of this. And then if I want it a little bit sweeter, I add just a little bit of stevia. I don't. I definitely don't add the whole packet. It's too sweet. So I add that. <clears throat> but I'm gonna set her down for a little bit so I can actually put the tablespoons in there. Also, do not mind all of the either spit up or saliva that goes on up here. So if you see it at any point throughout the video, okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hurry. She's. She's getting sleepy already. Um, putting in my two tablespoons. Um, it's hard to focus sometimes, to be honest. So, hold on, honey. You've been there for like, <clears throat> what happened to my voice? <clears throat> You've been there for like a minute. <laughs> Perfect. So many things are going on at once. It's like overwhelming sometimes. It's pretty much every day. All right, so I have my coffee. I have these. I'm going to fill up my water bottle. I also focus on making sure I drink enough water every single day. I'm breastfeeding and well, of course for my health as well, I need to just make sure that I'm drinking enough water. So let me get that. Right now she's been awake for a little bit, so it is time for her nap. I'm gonna put her in her sleeping bag and I'm gonna go ahead and take her to her room so that she can take her first nap. By the way, those last a maximum of like maximum 30 minutes as little as 15 so let me show you what that looks like okay so i'm gonna put little angel in her sleeping bag and let's put you in your sleeping bag whoa does anybody else's baby just randomly cough 
like that. Okay, so let's get you in your sleeping bag. We can take a little nap. You're getting heavy. She was born at five pounds, 11 ounces, <laughs> and she is now at 15 pounds. Big girl. Are you excited for nap time? And then of course she needs her passy. She will not fall asleep without it, at least right now. I'm nervous on how I'm gonna break that habit as she gets older. So, and I have her in her sleeping bag. I'm gonna take her to her room. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And as of right now, she's unable to self-soothe. So she can't just fall asleep on her own. I can't just lay her there. Um, and she falls asleep, she will fight it. So for right now, I do have to rock her for like five minutes or so and just rock her to sleep. That's just the reality of it. She's still kind of little. I mean, she's like not even, she's about to hit four months. So once she gets a little older, yes, I plan on breaking that habit. But for right now, I do have to just rock her a little bit, a little Miss Alfalfa. Um, I have to rock her to sleep a little bit. It looks so funny. Um, so let's get her down for a nappy. Okay. Well, I tried putting her down for a nap. She was quote unquote asleep. She woke up two minutes later. I was like, okay, let me try this again. Rocked her again for a little bit. Same thing. She's awake. <laughs> Goodness, some days are so hard. Like, I don't know what to do sometimes. I'm just like, um, you know what? We're going to just keep you awake a little bit longer then. I'm gonna put her on her swing and I'm gonna do what I have to do because I do not have a lot of time. She loves to, let me see. Did you go potty in here, Haley? <gasps> All right, y'all. So, as a recap, I'm gonna put her on the swing. I'm gonna finish uh, making my breakfast or whatever the case may be. I'm gonna heat up my coffee because it's already cold by the time I got to it. And so I put her in there and then I walk over to the kitchen area and I start to get this smell. And I'm like, oh my God, um, why does it smell like poop? So I look over there, my dog poops in three different spots. She steps all over it. She just gets it everywhere. And I literally had a mental breakdown for a few minutes. I called my husband, I'm over here freaking out. I'm like, I can't do this, I, I, I can't. I had to put the dog outside. She was crying in the swing, poop all over over there. I have to clock in in like 30 minutes. It was terrible. And that's the reality of having all of this going on at once for one person. It is very mentally, overstimulating so if you don't have a dog you're already winning you already have an advantage so yeah i had to put the dog outside little one ended up calming down in the swing when i gave her her teether her little teething toy and then i 
got to clean everything up, I sanitized, I mopped, I everything. And then by that time, all I was able to do is just heat up my coffee, sit down, have her fall asleep in my arms, drink my coffee and work. So right now, what we're doing right now is um, we're playing for a little bit. She had like an hour and a half nap on my arms and I was working and I'm starving. I haven't ate. I had a lot of work I have to get done this morning. She just woke up. We're gonna do a little bit of tummy time. We're gonna play for a little bit. And yeah, that's where I'm at. So that's, you know, the reality of it. I don't know how long I can do this for. So, but you know what? Now we're gonna focus on tummy time and having fun together. So here's a little clip of that. Can we do some tummy time? Some tummy time? I bought her this little teether and it has like a little insert in here so she just like holds it and she puts it in her mouth and it really keeps her occupied for a good amount of time which is what I need because I need to eat, I need to work, I need to clean, I need to do things. So this is what distracted her earlier when I was cleaning up the mess and she was in her swing. Um, I gave this to her and she was able to distract you know, herself a little bit. Right honey, you like it? You like it? Oh. Say hi to the camera. You're saying hi to yourself when you get older because you're going to be watching all of these. herself yes she did even though I trimmed her nails I don't know what she does that's not her first scratch <laughs> you want your little mitten so you can put that in your mouth yep you love this one there you go you love that one I like it when she lifts her little feet like that <laughs> I rely heavily on frozen stuff for example usually I eat these and I just pop it in the oven and it's ready in like 40 50 minutes and like that's so why I plan ahead so I make that usually but other days I rely heavily on just you know whatever I had for dinner last night so that's what I will be eating I will be heating up my dinner from last night that's what I rely on dinner from last night for my lunch I live off of these crackers, by the way. They are so good. The ingredients are a lot cleaner. I really just try to focus on that. So Simple Mills can sponsor me. That would be wonderful. Anyway, not sponsored, by the way. And then I also eat a cheese stick. This is pretty much every day. I eat a cheese stick, crackers, um, what else? Um, almonds. I love almonds for some reason. And they taste like nothing, but I like them. Yeah, you're playing over there. Thank you for being good. Some apples. Okay, I'm so hungry. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you really quickly. Like I said, my lunch was is dinner from last night plus additional snacks because I just I have no filler when I'm breastfeeding. I'm like so hungry all the time. So I'm gonna eat this while she hopefully is good laying there for a little bit longer, maybe five minutes. And yeah, keep working. So let's do that. So this is what my station looks like. It looks crazy every day. So I have my coffee that I never finish, my water that I'm drinking, my lunch. I have her passy for the next time in her nap. Um, I have my snacks, my banana, my, my breakfast plate. I'm telling you, it's crazy. And then I put her little gym thing here. Oh, honey, you're, it's falling off. It's 
all enough. Let's put it back on your hand. There you go. You can put that on your hand. Good job. Good job. You got it. Her hand-eye coordination is not the best yet, but she will get there. Yep, mommy's eating. Hmm. <laughs> I love her random screams. Mm. She loves to scream, so you'll hear her. Yeah, there's just so many things that nobody talks about and are very difficult. I'm, I honestly feel like right now I'm just... Every day I'm just trying to survive. Let me show you this angel. You're so vocal, honey. Mommy's over here. Mommy's right here. She's discovering her voice to say the least. still doesn't really reach for them yet. I'm thinking maybe within a month, she will. I don't even remember when was the last meal that I had that was actually warm. I don't remember the last time I drank my coffee without heating it like five times, but I wouldn't want it any other way because I love this angel, this crazy angel. She's moving so much, oh my goodness, so much. Are you interested? <laughs> mm -hmm. my goal for myself every day aside from showering jesus is to tr at least get either a walk in for the day and i have a i have an under the desk treadmill that i it's considered an under the desk treadmill but it's a small treadmill that i use that um i can either use that and get my walk in or get some well this is usually done when she's napping by the way if she does in her crib <coughs> bless you <coughs> bless you <coughs> bless you oops so my goal for myself is to either get some steps in on the treadmill or get a little exercise session in with my weights um, today is supposed to be weights so let's see if she naps later today. It's a promise to myself to um, focus on also myself so that I can take care of her for as long as possible. I wanna be healthy, I wanna be strong for as long as I can be so I can watch her and you know, take care of her for as long as I can. And also for my mental health because whenever I exercise, it's, it's so helpful. Like I, I feel, a lot more clarity I feel more relaxed more at ease so I do it for her so I can last her as long as possible and I do it for myself so I can be strong and healthy and mentally better because when you're struggling mentally you're struggling in general hey honey here's a close-up say hi say hi to everybody moving her legs so much. Say hi. Hi. Hey, honey. Hi. I wonder what you're going to look like when you're older. Oh. Uh-oh. Are you getting sleepy again? <laughs> Silly. Mommy's working while you're relaxing? You have no idea, honey. You'll see when you get older later. I cannot wait for her to watch these videos when she gets older later. She can see what she's been doing, what she's like since she was a newborn. I do have a 24 hours with the newborn video if you're curious. To be honest, I don't even know what I looked like whenever I was a newborn. 
I have no idea. There's no pictures. I'm just glued to the computer. But my goal is to still <clears throat> do as many things as I can with her. We get some tummy time in. Yeah. Yeah, she goes from zero to 100 so fast. Yeah, that's how I know you're hungry because you start to, yeah. <laughs> I'm finishing something up here. She's feeding, I'm snacking. A little bit after this, she's probably gonna be ready for another nap and then we will try the crib and I will try to get a workout in. We'll see what that looks like. I'm hoping and praying that she lets me get a workout in today. So while she naps, hopefully, I will come in here and get my workout in. And I'm pretty much just gonna prepare my station for whatever it is I need to do. So, because honestly, she only naps for a maximum of like 30 minutes. So if she decides to nap, then that's about how long my workout is gonna be. I'm making sure that she's tired enough so that I can come in here and get her workout in. Um, but if she happens to nap, I will show you more or less what my workout looks like. Just a little bit. I'm gonna record a little bit here and there because once again, I'm so limited on time that I don't want to spend too much time focusing on recording because then I won't get a workout in. So, say yes, mommy. I'm gonna fall asleep today in my crib. Oh. Say yes, mommy. I'm gonna let you get a workout in. Right, honey? Yeah, mom. Those eyebrows. <laughs> yes, mommy, I'm gonna get and let you get a workout in today. Uh -huh. What do you think of mommy's outfit? <laughs> do you like it? What do you think? What do you think of mommy's outfit? Do you like it, honey? It's outfit of the day. Workout outfit of the day. What do you think? Should we show them the fit? Let's, let's do it. Do you like mommy's outfit? Yes. You like it? You like it? You think it's cute? Really good for you. Oh. I love you. I love you. <laughs> You're so funny. You're trying to put everything in your mouth. All right, so here's my outfit for today. Well, not for today, but for my workout. I am about to be four months postpartum. Sorry, honey. About to be four months. I have no idea what that is. I think she spit up. I don't know what that is. Okay, anyway, whatever. It's literally just came out of the washer, so it's not dirty. Um, yeah, this is my outfit of the day. We will see what my workout looks like today, depending on if she decides she wants to nap and for how long. All right, we're about to try to go in and put her for a nap, so wish me luck. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so she just went down for her nap. I'm finally gonna get a little workout in. I'm not gonna take long to say this because I am limited on time. So I'm gonna go stretch and I'm gonna get started. That lasted 15 minutes. She's awake. Hi, honey. It's okay. Mom's right here. All right, well, that concludes my workout. Let's exit this room because the white noise is very loud. So that concluded my 15 minute workout, her 15 minute nap. I just clocked out right now also um i'm gonna go shower and you know do whatever else i have to do but as long as i'm not working anymore i have more freedom so yeah that pretty much just concludes the video say bye she's still cranky say bye we'll see y'all at our next vlog bye <laughs>